Hi, this is Dave Young. We just completed our uh, three basic tests for water submersion testing for marine units who are going to select a firearm. The six hour P226 was flawless. Uh, the MK version that they have for the Navy SEALs fired in all three conditions. The first condition was being submerged underwater, simulating fighting with a subject, having to draw your weapon and do a contact shot or engage in a deadly force threat in a close proximity with the weapon being submerged. The weapon fired with the hammer forward and also fired with the hammer back. The second test is after the weapon is submerged for 60 seconds to draw the weapon and engage a threat on top of the water. Again, the, the weapon fired fine and then bring it back under the water to simulate choppiness, uh, not being stable in the water and firing around in the water and then bringing it back above the surface to fire again. Again, the weapon fly, uh, fired flawlessly. And then the third test was to um, have the weapon submerged for 60 seconds with the hammer back and seeing if it would fire around, which it did not once, but all three times. Uh, it's been my experience using some of the other f weapons uh, that the manufacturers have with the hammers being in the cocked and loaded position that the water tension was usually too great, whether it was submerged uh, one to three to 10 feet below the surface of the water. We only did about three to four feet. And uh, again, the six hour was just an excellent choice of a firearm for Marine units. Uh, definitely it would be dependable when your life depends on it the most.